The Tower of Joy had been the crucible of destiny. Beneath its ancient stones, secrets had been forged and lives forever altered. And on that fateful day, when the tower's secrets had spilled out into the world, it set into motion a chain of events that would change the course of Westeros forever. Lyanna Stark had survived childbirth, her strength and determination defying the odds. The baby, her baby, had been born amidst pain and tears, but also with hope and love. Jon Snow, or rather Egon Targaryen as Lyanna had named him, had come into the world with a destiny as profound as the war that had raged around him. With the newborn in her arms, Lyanna looked down at the child, her eyes filled with both maternal love and a deep, sorrowful wisdom. The whispers of prophecy had long haunted her dreams, and she knew that her actions now would shape the future of Westeros. Ned Stark, his face etched with a mixture of relief and concern, approached his sister. He had come to rescue her, but now, he faced an even greater challenge. How to protect Lyanna and her son without revealing the truth to a kingdom that would never understand. Word had reached Winterfell of Lyanna's survival, and it hadn't taken long for Robert Baratheon to mount his horse and ride for the north. He arrived at Winterfell with a thunderous presence, demanding answers from Ned. His eyes were wild, and his voice thundered through the halls. Why did you not tell me, Ned? Robert roared, his fists clenched in anger. Ned hesitated, his gaze flickering between Robert and his sister. He knew that the truth would shatter Robert's heart, but he also understood that the lies of omission had already cost too much. With a heavy heart, Ned replied, Because, my friend, there are some truths too painful to bear. Lyanna didn't want you to know. Know what? Robert's voice had turned from anger to desperation, his eyes welling with tears. Lyanna stepped forward, her voice trembling but resolute. Robert, I loved Rieger. Egon is not a product of rape, he is a child born of love. Please, you must understand. But Robert's fury was now boundless, his world unraveling before his eyes. He lunged at Lyanna, his hands outstretched to choke the life from her. Ned moved swiftly, interposing himself between Robert and his sister. A hall erupted into chaos as the two childhood friends clashed in a violent, brutal struggle. The clash of steel echoed through Winterfell as their swords danced in a deadly ballet, but it was Robert's sheer strength that prevailed. With a powerful blow, Robert disarmed Ned, sending his sword clattering across the stone floor. He raised his fists, raining down blows on Ned, who fought to protect himself from the onslaught. Blood flowed from both men, mixing with the tears of Lyanna as she watched her brother's life hang in the balance. In that moment, as Robert prepared to deliver a fatal strike, it was Lyanna who became the unlikely savior. She had taken up a sword, and now, with tears streaming down her face, she thrust it into Robert's back. Robert's eyes widened in disbelief as he staggered backward, blood gushing from the mortal wound. He collapsed to the floor, his life ebbing away. Lyanna rushed to Ned's side, her voice trembling. Ned, are you all right? Ned nodded weakly, his face battered and bruised, but alive. Together, brother and sister, they looked down at the lifeless form of Robert Baratheon, their friend turned foe. The blood from Robert's body pooled on the cold stone of Winterfell's hall, a stark reminder of the price of secrets and the cost of love. Lyanna knew that their actions would have consequences, that the truth about Jon's parentage would one day be revealed. As they tended to Ned's wounds, they knew that their fates were forever entwined with the destiny of the Seven Kingdoms. The world outside Winterfell's walls remained a dangerous and unpredictable place, and the child in Lyanna's arms was a living testament to a love that had defied both fate and war. And so, in the hallowed halls of Winterfell, as Robert's life slipped away, Lyanna and Ned faced an uncertain future, bound by blood, love, and the weight of the secrets they carried.